Hi, my name is Del Warren, Vice President of the Kegel Training Center. All right, so now that we've talked about the stance and the start, let's talk about the finish position. And I'm telling you, of all the positions that we see at the training center, this can get kind of the craziest because of the compensations the body has to make because of an incorrect starting position, the body has to end up um, kind of actually twisting about to try to get the ball online. So we're gonna kind of dispel some things here. We're gonna make it really easy and also um, help you get in a position to where your, your direction will be more consistent and there'll be, you'll be less likely to have some injury, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is, again, we're gonna use this laser light here. I'm gonna put my foot about five boards to the left and I want you to notice here that I'm gonna have my foot parallel to this line. So much, um, so many times we see that the foot gets pointed in this direction and again, it ends up the hips are pointed to the right of the target line. And actually, I like to see actually the foot in a little bit because as we get into the finish position, we know we have to have some tilt to the right. We know our head's got to be uh, on or outside the target line. We know our hands got to be on the inside. So for that to happen, if this foot's in a little bit, it also helps keep that hip perpendicular to the target line. And because we have tilt, our center of gravity is a little bit more to the right. It also helps us with balance, all right? So you, as you can see here, my, my uh, bowling side shoulder is down and we want our arm, our, um, our non-bowling arm to be up and kind of either parallel to the ground or in line with our shoulders. And this position allows us to have our hand to the inside um, part of the ball and to get our hand nice and close to our center of gravity, as close as we can get without, hurt, without hitting our ankle. All right, so from the rear, it's gonna look something like this. Again, our foot is parallel to the line of play, if not slightly in. Our hip is still going forward. Our head is to the right. Our right shoulder is down. Our trail leg is nice and relaxed. And our trail leg is, if our head's at one o'clock, we want our trail leg no more than seven o'clock. So many times again, do I see that trail leg over here where some people are actually gonna foul and go across that line, all right? And when that happens, what happens is we put a tremendous amount of torque on our low back and our knee, all right? So by getting again on the line of play with a little bit of tilt, um, you're gonna get all your energy down the target line, your body's gonna be nice and relaxed, and you're less likely to have to take some sort of pain medication because your back's killing you. I hope this really helps, and again, uh, you know, if you try some of these tips, I guarantee you they're going to help you.